Hey guys, today we're going to look at one of the worst socket sets ever made. I found this underneath the spare tire in a junk car. This is a late 60s, early 70s era hex drive socket set from Sears. These are hex drive sockets, so they used a hex shape instead of the modern square shape for the drive end. This set was made in the USA of carbon steel. Most sockets are going to be made from some sort of alloy steel, chrome vanadium or chrome moly, but no, this one is just carbon steel. And they're not even chrome plated. They have some sort of a zinc plating on them. And there's no branding on the sockets themselves. The only way that you know it was from Sears is from the Sears logo on the case. They came with both half inch and quarter inch hex drives. The quarter inch ones are interesting because they gave you two square sockets for use on square bolts. Each drive size has its own L handle. You would use this to break the bolts loose and then switch over to the ratchet. The L handle has a ball detent on either end, so you could use it as sort of an extension if you needed to get it down somewhere. There's no detent or stop in the socket itself, so the L handle has these two pinches to act as stops and keep the sockets from sliding all the way through. For quarter inch drive, they gave you a spinner handle. On mine, the ball detent is frozen, so I can't slide the socket all the way on. The acetate handle here is kind of nice. It has that ball shaped end, kind of like on the old Craftsman drivers. The included ratchet, well, this is something else. It's just stamped sheet metal riveted together around a ratchet mechanism. Very 1920s style. It has an 18 tooth gear mechanism with a lot of back drag. To reverse it, you had to pull the insert out, flip the ratchet over, and then reinstall it on the other side. The insert is double-ended, so it has a half-inch hex drive on one end and a screwdriver blade on the other. The screwdriver almost looks like a drag link socket. It's pretty huge. I can't imagine anyone actually using that. I can't describe how cheap and flimsy this ratchet feels. There's a reason they gave you that fixed L handle. If you put too much torque on this ratchet, you'd break it pretty easily. Hex drive sockets were already starting to become obsolete back in the 1930s. Everyone was transitioning over to square drive. But some of the companies continued to make hex drive sockets, positioning them as budget alternatives all the way up through the 1970s. I found this one in a 1969 Sears catalog, listed for $4.19. If you adjust that for inflation, it would be about $35 today. You can get a pretty decent socket set today for $35. Even the cheap Harbor Freight set is only $20, and it comes with more sockets and two ratchets. So we definitely have it better today in regards to budget tools. A lot of people buy those cheap Harbor Freight sets as a backup set or to keep in the trunk of your car. Since I found this set in the trunk of a car, that was probably the mindset back then too. I also found ads for a metric set as well as a Whitworth set. So yeah, I could see back then not wanting to spend too much money on an oddball socket set that you'd only use once or twice a year. It just seems weird not to make them square drive. Then people could have used regular ratchets on them instead of that junk sheet metal one. 
they did make a hex to square drive adapter so you could use the hex drive ratchet with square drive sockets I imagine they had an adapter to go the other way around too this socket set is a great example that we didn't always make quality tools here in the US sometimes we made crap too so did you ever have a set like this was it just for backup or emergency purposes? Something to keep in the trunk of your car? Or maybe this was all you could afford, and you had to tough it out using these until you could level up to something better. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my channel for more old tool videos. See you later. Bye.